Today we're going to install a Nagaoka cartridge. We're going to be working with the very popular MP110. This also works for every other cartridge in the MP line. Follow along and hopefully this helps. The first thing we're going to want to do is remove the stylus. This will ensure that everything is safe while we're working and you don't want to damage anything. The way that you remove the stylus is just to grip the two sides here where there's uh, dimples and to slowly pull forward, you'll see it just fits in. It's much like any Sure cartridge. Move it to the side. Wiring this cartridge is a piece of cake because it is nicely color-coded for you already. Okay, all done, it's all attached. Lead wires are a go. Now we're gonna put some screws in there and hold the cartridge body in place. So stick one in. These nuts are small. Lay it on top like so and slowly rotate it with your finger just to thread it a little bit. We're gonna do the same thing with the other side. I'm gonna hold both of the nuts with my fingers on this end and slightly tighten my screws, but not super tight. I can wiggle it back and forth though it's not gonna move if I if I shake it. At this point, you can reintroduce your stylus. And now we're going to align our cartridge. Align your cartridge based on your turntable recommendations. My turntable, I'm lucky lucky, asks me to use a overhang cage. So I'm just gonna quickly align to that. When you're happy with your alignment, you fully tighten the screws. And then you want to double check your alignment and make sure everything's good. Awesome. Before you begin playing, you'll want to balance your tone arm and set the correct tracking force, which is two grams. You can try it out and see what you think.